Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my study and work from home survival guide. As I'm sure many of you have had your classes or work moved online, my uni has now moved all of its classes online for the rest of the semester, so I'm taking my lectures, tutorials, and doing projects all from home. I have an online class this semester and I've had online classes previously, but obviously this is a new situation and a way of learning I'm still getting used to, so I'm definitely not an expert on this in any way. However, in this video I will be sharing tips on how I'm adapting to online learning and working from home, which if you want to, you can also implement into your own routines of online school or work. My first tip is to create and stick to a routine each day. This is probably my most important tip as this is how you will get your workflow and your routine going. The easiest way to do this is to stick by the uni school or work timetable you would normally have. If all your classes are either live at their normal time or they are pre-recorded before the scheduled time, you can watch your lectures at the allocated time or at the same time as class would usually be and write your notes during them. In my case, all of my lectures are pre-recorded and some are even completely cancelled. Therefore, following my actual uni timetable was not a viable option for me. Instead, I made my own schedule to fit in my lectures, study hours, and projects, as well as tutorial time, as they have also changed to fit the online format. When watching pre-recorded lectures, I usually set a timer for the actual length of the lecture, usually about two hours. This way, I make sure that I'm being time efficient and completing the classes at the same time and pace as I would normally do if I was actually physically attending the lecture. In order to do this, I usually leave the lecture on normal speed or 1.5 times speed if it's very slow paced, so I don't have to keep stopping and starting while writing my notes. The biggest benefit of following your uni timetable or a slightly modified version of it is that it ensures that you have a set routine and stay on top of your work for each week so you're not falling behind in any of your classes. My next tip is to find a designated study space in your home. I have found a nice and quiet space to study where there is a lot of natural light and desk space and this really helps me get into the zone and be more productive. Here are a few things you can consider when finding a spot where you can study or work from home. Firstly, an ideal study space would be by a desk or any other sturdy table where you can sit comfortably and focus for a longer period of time. This means not your bed or sofa. Creating a clear boundary between work, sleep, and relaxing is really important for your own productivity and mental state. And by working in a spot that is dedicated for relax or sleep, you will automatically be more unproductive and distracted. Another thing that is important is to sit in a space with good lighting. This can be a room that has a lot of natural light through the windows or a room with good table lamps or ceiling lights. This is essential to avoid straining your eyes too much unnecessarily and working in dark spaces will also make you more tired, which is why I recommend finding a space with good lighting. Finally, in an ideal study area, you want to remove all distractions. The common biggest distraction is our phones, so I normally use the app Forest, which is where you set a timer and it plants a tree, and as long as you're not using your phone, the tree will grow. But if you don't want to use an app, then you could always put your phone into do not disturb mode, turn on flight mode, or turn off notifications for apps that you find distracting. I really like the Do Not Disturb function and I use this in combination with the Forest app. The next tip I have is to ensure that you keep in contact with your lecturers, tutors, and or friends in your class. This way, if you have any questions about the content, assessments, assignments, or just how the modules run in general when being online, they can help you answer them. 
A really good way to do this is through the designated class email, the discussion boards on Piazza, or just on the learning platform that your school or university is using. Remember that just because you're not seeing them in person doesn't mean that you have to lose all points of contact. In relation to this, I've also found that study groups are really helpful to get work done. By scheduling time during the week to virtually meet your friends in your class, you will benefit from a productive and social aspect. Even if it's through a digital meeting, it's still an informal setting where you can get work done, discuss class material, and talk about non-school related things. I have a lot of projects where I'm required to work in a group, but I find it really nice to not sit alone every day studying. Working in a group also gives you a bit of change in your daily routine, which is also good for your mental state. Another thing that I found really useful is to set my school day in the morning and early afternoon and then stop working in the evening. This gives me time to do whatever I want during the evening, like read books, hang out with my family, watch a TV show, or edit videos, things that I generally enjoy. I'm also the most productive in the morning, so this provides me with good motivation to be productive in the mornings so I can relax later in the day. Obviously, this will vary from person to person, but try to plan out your study time to where you feel the most productive to do work. In relation to productivity, one tip that I have specifically for working from home is to get ready in the morning. Getting dressed into normal clothes will actually help you be more productive throughout the day. And this is just another way to enhance the boundary between work and relax. Another tip to keep your productivity up is by having active breaks between study sessions. I really like to take one longer break during my school day to get some exercise. This does not have to be anything super intense like running or a full workout. I really enjoy doing some light online workouts like yoga or go for a walk in the surrounding areas around my house. The ideal is to get some fresh air which will help your mind relax so you can stay concentrated for your study session after. However, this might not be an option for you so opening a window would work to let in some fresh air into your study space. Another really helpful tip is to make a rough plan of what you're going to do the night before. This includes writing a to-do list and also the time that you have classes, tutorials, projects, or other meetings scheduled. Personally, I just use my planner to write this down as it helps me keep all of my information into one place. Prioritize your tasks. I've also found it really helpful to assign priorities to my tasks. So each day I have three tasks that are my top priority and this way I know which are my main tasks for the day to tackle first or spend more time on. You could also do this process in the morning. However, I like to plan everything the night before so that when I wake up, I don't have to waste time thinking about what to do in the morning. Also, if I have tasks that I need to finish from the day before, I'm more likely to remember them if I just note them down when I wrap up my day. I find that when I create the to-do lists and rough plan the night before, it will serve as motivation to get up in the morning because you know you have work to do and tasks scheduled in. That was everything for this video. These were my top tips for surviving online learning and adapting to online study or work from home. I hope you found this video helpful and can implement some of these tips into your own life. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel and also let me know in the comments which tip you want to try out or even the ones that you're doing at the moment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and if you want to get notified when I post, please turn on post notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!